How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And some of you guys have been asking, uh, what does VPN logging mean? Now, when a VPN logs your activity, it means that it is keeping records of your online activity. This can include information such as the websites you visit, the data you transmit, and your IP address. VPNs may keep logs for a variety of reasons, such as for performance or diagnostic purposes, or to comply with legal requirements. In contrast, a no-log VPN does not keep any logs or records of your online activity. And that's exactly what you should be looking for. This means that if anyone were to request information about your internet usage, the VPN provider would have nothing to give them. No log VPNs can be attractive to users who value their privacy and want to ensure that their online activity cannot be traced back to them. And it's important to note that even no log VPNs can potentially be forced to turn over user data if they receive a valid legal request. However, well established no log VPNs are generally considered to be very privacy friendly and are a good choice for people who value their online anonymity. So with ExpressVPN, for example, um, there was a case in 2017 uh, where the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server as part of an investigation, but they were still unable to find or extract any information that can be linked back to a specific user or IP address. And that's exactly why I'm showing you guys these three VPNs. They all have uh, a strict no logs policy that is also backed up by independent, well, many independent audit reports, uh, not just one independent audit report. And you do want to see this kind of transparency with uh, VPN providers. And when you do see this kind of transparency, you can rest assured uh, that these VPNs surely do um, uphold their no logs policies. And it's not just an empty claim. And if you're not sure what an independent an audit report is an independent audit is when a third party company examines the VPN provider to try to spot any potential vulnerabilities in the server infrastructure or the network in general, and to also make sure that these VPNs are upholding their no logs policy to the highest standard or to the standard that they claim themselves. And all these VPNs surely do, which is why I'm recommending them in this video. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPNs and based on your own preferences and needs, of course, and budget. Um, so uh, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And of course, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So in case you're not satisfied with any of these, for whatever reason, you can just get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.